Good day, Pepper people. This is Rick from Welcome to Grizzly Heat. And how you guys doing today? Got another sauce review, and this one's special to me because it was sent to me by my good buddy Zach Perkins from High Desert Sauce Company. And this is another one of the Lost Capital sauces. This is their another bad investment chili Manzano sauce. Now, I was looking up the Manzano chili. I didn't know much about it. It actually translates into apple, and it's thick skinned, um, it's got a fruity flavor. I'm going to read what this says in the, uh, about uh, Lost Capital first. This is quality at all costs. Our business model is simple. Select and ferment the best peppers, craft luxurious flavor profiles, disregard the margin. Low sodium, local ingredients, slowly fermented. So this is a good fermented sauce. Um, and I did read the ingredients, so I'm going to go ahead and read them to you guys already because I was curious about this. I didn't know anything about the Manzano chili. Um, and it's grown in a higher elevation, mostly in South America. But the ingredients of this is chili, manzano, pepper, brine, which is water, kosher, salt, um, vinegar, habanero, jalapeno, onion, guajillo, ancho, arbol, garlic, and boot jolokia, which is the ghost pepper. So this has got, let me see, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven different kinds of peppers in this. The first one though is the chili Manzano. Now it looks similar to an apple or a pear. That's why tra Manzano translated into apple or pear is what I read. And it looks uh, very similar if you look it up. And it's kind of interesting because um, it's, it didn't look like really like that much like a pepper to me. Uh, I mean it does, but it's just different shaped. And I guess it's really thick wall, so it's kind of hard to dry. So if people use them, they usually use them fresh. So there's another uh, part of insight that I didn't know. Neighbor's dog is barking. Rain's over here. She's not barking or nothing. She's just doing her thing. But anyway, this company so far has been really cool, and I really dig these sauces. And Zach Perkins, such a great guy. Zach Perkins from My Desert Sauce sent me this. He goes, I like this, and I want you to try it. So... Um, Lost Capital, another bad investment, Chili Manzano. So this is their Chili Manzano sauce. Let's open this thing up and see what it smells like before we taste it. Uh, I'm really excited about this because reading the ingredients in this, I'm like, man, this has got to be delicious. So let's see. Hmm. Definitely got that fermented smell. A little bit of funky. A lot of people don't like fermented sauces. I do, and I've come to uh, I've come become accustomed to them. I'm actually developing quite a palate for them. Let me give this a little more shaky shake. Yeah, that smells good. Definitely getting the pepper, vinegar. There's like a fruitiness I smell to it. And that can only be because, I mean, there's not garlic, a little bit of onion, but everything else is pepper. So um, onion, garlic, and salt. Everything else is pepper, and this is smelling fruity. Hmm. Very, very interesting. So... My mouth is watering. Oh, I'm excited to taste this one. Thanks a lot, Zach. I appreciate you. I know that uh, if he tells me this is a good sauce, it's a good sauce. Zach knows. Um, by the way, these guys are in Minnesota, so they're up north. All right. Hold on, guys. I will set that there so I don't spill it. I'm going to pull out the old trusty. You guys need one of these. Actually, it's a chopstick, a wooden chopstick that I cut down to get these sauce plugs removed so you can pour. I'll set that there so I don't taste it first. Oh, and I made a mess. I was doing really good, guys. Oh, well, I'll clean it up. So, here we go. There's a nice pour coming out nice and thick. Great consistency. I'm seeing some seeds, chunkies, and it's thick. Anyway, 
This is Lost Capital, another bad investment. Chili Manzano hot sauce. I'm Rhett Griffin, Grizzly Heat. Stay spicy, pepper people. Wow. I'm getting the sweetness. When I told you I smelled fruity, the flavor that I'm getting, the sweetness is that it coincides with that fruitiness. It kind of does smell like a pear or an apple. Wow. It's got that little bit of that funkiness that the fermented sauces have. Um, now if you're not in a fermented sauce, you might not like this, but I really do like this. Yeah. Huh. That's very unique. Here's what I want to describe this to you guys. If you ever eat a pear off a tree and it's not, it's ripe, but it's not quite ripe yet, just a little early, but it's still a little sweet, but a little tart, that's what this tastes like. I really like that. Hmm. That's really, really good. Should be really good with some pork. Now there's no, I don't see sugar on this list at all. So, by the way, I know you guys say, I put this in here and you're like, you guys, oh, you should white wash your spoon. I do. Um, I just stick it back in there so I don't drop it and break it. Same with this. I know you're like, oh, well, you're getting on your case. It's my case. Anyway, don't get on my case about my case. I'm just kidding. Oh, I did have a, a napkin here to wipe that up, but oh well, I don't see it. Anyway, guys, um, if you've had this, let me know. Zach, thanks very much for sending this to me. This is a very unique sauce. I'm really liking it. There's numerous things I would use it on. I'm thinking pork would be phenomenal. Even if you use it as a dipping sauce for a pork chop, cut it into pieces and dip it in, or maybe cook it, use it as a base. There's no sugar in this. Um, but there is a hint of sweetness, and it's gotta be from the chili manzano. And I've never had that before, so that's very unique, and I'm really excited. There is a QR code on the back of here, and I don't know if this will pick it up. Um, enough to you guys to freeze frame and maybe um, take a screenshot or whatever. But I'm sure if you go to their uh, lostcapitalfoods.com, it says recipes and more. Or you can maybe try to scan that QR code. Um, it says vegan, no sugar added, and raw. Um, I like this. Um, it's definitely unlike any sauce I've ever had. It does say refrigerate after opening. Um which most sauces, you don't have to do that, but I'm guessing this because it's a fermented sauce is why it says that, because um, this has no fruit in it. And usually, I, usually I tell you guys what I do is I keep my fermented sauces and I keep my, um, my sauces with fruit, I keep them in the fridge. But this one doesn't have any sugar. Um, it has no, um, no fruit in it. So I would think you could put it on the table, but guess what? Since it's fermented, it should go in the fridge. And a lot of times that really changes the flavor. Um, you guys know what I'm talking about. If you've been um, sampling a lot of and eating a lot of different sauces, once you put a sauce in the in the refrigerator, it changes the profile a little bit. Sometimes for the better, sometimes for the worse. Sometimes it cuts a little bit of the heat. Sometimes it adds to the heat. It just depends on the sauce. Um, I'm excited to see what this tastes like once I put it in the fridge. Um, I like the sweetness. Like I said, it's very unique because there's no sugar in it, and I get a sweetness. I'm gonna do some more research about the chili manzano and look up look up what uh what kind of 
recipes they cook with the fresh peppers and then I'm gonna see if I can add this um, it's got a great blend with a lot of different peppers and this is definitely not a bad investment even though it's another bad investment sauce you guys go check them out lost capital I appreciate you guys making uh, quality sauces um, this is a good one thanks Zach Perkins I appreciate it hey guys okay so it's Monday Remember, start your week off um, is probably the afternoon where you're at, um, unless you're where I'm at, so it's not yet. It's uh, 1130 my time, but hey, um, could be could be re getting ready to get off of work. You know, even if today's been bad, it's still Monday. You still got a chance to hold your head up high and finish strong, and you know your perspective shapes how your week goes. Um, so one of the things you can do about that is be positive and just think about um, the things that we have. Um, we're all blessed. We've got so much to be thankful for. So that's one of the things that we can do is just be thankful for what we have. And if you focus on those things, the problem seems to kind of dwindle a little bit. You know, we're, we're way more thankful um, when we look at the good things that we have and not focusing on the bad things that happen or the lack of things. Um, I, I, I'm really blessed, but it doesn't take a lot to make me happy. And I'm pretty sure that a lot of you guys if you look around and see what you got and i'm not talking about materialistic things i'm talking about maybe family is in good health or just have family around you you know those are good things to be thankful for so you guys try to do that and uh and just be positive birds um they're all over the place here i mean it's a little cloudy today but uh right now it's 54 degrees um i'm comfortable out here this is when i really like vegas because you can sit out here and you're not sweating and um, even if the sun was out it'd probably be 70 um, some of you guys I know that are in some colder temperatures than that but it doesn't feel like 54 to me out here right now so I don't know I'm enjoying it so you guys enjoy the rest of your week if it's cold where you're at um, try to stay bundled up it's great snuggling weather if you got somebody to snuggle with if you don't um, grab an extra blanket put on some nice slippers when you get home if you got those and um, you know, maybe watch some YouTube or uh, maybe you need to get away from social media. Sometimes that can be a, a hang up for us. But uh, I can tell you guys that I'm thankful that you are on social media and watching this right now because I appreciate it. The channel's growing. Um, I've been putting a, some little shorts of food and stuff. And it's been those have been getting some great views. Um, just trying to throw some quick stuff in there because I can't always make a long video. So I try to do that. And uh, if you guys like that, give me a thumbs up. Uh, you know, make it, leave a comment in the comment section. Tell me if you're liking the food videos. Um, there might be some people that don't because they're here just for the hot stuff. Um, believe me, you can ask Lady Grizz. You can ask, pop, ask Papa Grizz. Um, when I eat something that you see a food, there's some kind of salt. Part two. Part two. Here's what happened. Um, I thought I had enough battery and still learning my new camera, so it ran out so i'll post two videos this is the end of this one uh chili manzano another bad investment from lost capitals uh, lost capital uh hot sauce company hey video the battery ran out what do you want me to do um it was good though because i know about how long i can make a video now with um looking at the battery but anyway sorry guys not perfect Still working things out. Thanks for tuning in, though, guys. I really appreciate it. Um, the channel's growing, like I said. Um, well, I went to, I don't know if it got cut off. I was talking about uh, po posting the videos of the little shorts of food and stuff. And I went to that Bidia truck, and I didn't need any hot sauce on that. You know why? I wanted to taste the food that they had. Um, but I know if I go back, I know what sauce to bring with me now. Because, you know, sometimes you got to do that. Just taste the food so you can figure out what to use. Anyway, sorry about the camera going dead. It's what happens. This is the real world. Um, I don't do editing. At least one thing I would do is kind of trim the front and the end of the video. So that's what we got. I'll try to put it together and see if I can do that. If not, you'll get two videos. How about that? Anyway, thank you guys for tuning in. Uh, stay positive. It's Monday. You finish your week strong. I love every single one of you. And as always, stay spicy, pepper people.